everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you're brand new welcome i'm super glad to have you here my name is jessica and i make videos on luxury goods the pre-loved market and finding great deals and fashion particularly workwear today's video is going to be a tag video the tag was started by the beautiful shay whitney and um, I was not actually tagged <laughs> to do this video, but basically everyone that has done this video so far and was tagged, tagged anybody who wanted to do it. So I figured, you know, what the heck I would do it. So the video is called the luxury bags I didn't buy and why, or just bags I didn't buy and why. It doesn't have to be luxury. It's just everything so far really has been luxury. So I will be discussing three bags and I don't have any eye candy for you today because I did not actually purchase these bags because of the reasons I will explain soon. So what I will do is link the bags down below. So when I talk about a bag, if you don't know what that bag looks like, go ahead and pause this video and go down to the links and then you can check out the bag. So you'll know what I'm talking about when I am discussing, but I'm just going to be discussing three today. And then I'm thinking about maybe adding in the little twist that LB did which basically were bags she was not interested or didn't even know about buying until she saw them in person. And so I may throw that in at the end depending on how long this video is, but let's get started. So the first bag that I wanna talk about is sort of a bag that a lot of people really love. It's a bag that's all over social media and all over YouTube. And it's a bag I was completely in love with, definitely thought I wanted to buy. And then when I saw it in person, I, it was a little bit of a letdown. It just wasn't what I expected it to be. So that bag is the Givenchy Antigona. I know a lot of people really love it, so I don't mean to offend anybody if you really love that bag. These are just ones that didn't work for me. So I wanted this in a large. I wanted it to be a work bag. And I specifically remember the first time I ever saw it on TV in The Good Wife, she carried that bag. And I was like, oh, she looks like the most amazing, like girl boss lawyer. She looked so fashionable and wonderful. And I was like, yes, that one is the one that I want. And I'd already started seeing it all over the place before that. But that's when I was really like, okay, it's perfect for work. It's exactly what I want. It is like an understated, but beautiful bag. And I just thought it would be great. So I went to go see it, and I believe I went to see it in Paris for the first time, though that may not be true. I may have seen it in New York City. But I remember going to see the bag, and I was immediately just like, oh. Whenever anybody carried it or whenever I saw the pictures, I didn't realize it was as wide as it was. So I, st I think the leather was beautiful. I even liked the handles, and I know that's something not everybody loves. I liked all of those things. I knew I would never use the big strap. I would always carry it by hand or in the crook of my arm. So that wasn't really even a concern, but I didn't really want the, the bag because it was so wide and also the zipper was really wide. So the big hardware of the zipper, actually, I know it adds like an edge and a lot of people like that, but to me it made it less professional. So I just didn't find that I loved that bag as much as I thought I would. So that was a bummer for me. I, I really thought I was going to super love it and add it to my collection and that just did not happen. So bag number two, the next bag is the Ferragamo Amy bag. And if you've watched my channel before, you know I absolutely love Ferragamo. And when I first saw the Amy online, I was like, yes, I love it. I liked the wings of it. I liked just the whole look of it and it seemed like it was going to be a really nice bag for work. And I think, no, these are the only two for work. The next one is a more of a casual bag. But I went to go see that in person and I didn't realize that it was as unstructured as it was. When they're taking the pictures of it online, of course, they put like stuffing in it and it looks really beautiful and structured. And then it's actually like a very floppy leather and I did not love that. So if you have seen my videos of like the Bice Tote, it's a similar leather to that. But with the Bice Tote, the way that it is shaped, I think makes more sense for that structure than the Amy does. So it's still a really popular bag and whenever it comes up on the pre-love market, I'm like, hmm, should I get it? <laughs> I still really like it. But I know that I won't enjoy it as much as the bag that I got in place, which actually I will include in the little last part of this video. So the Amy bag just didn't quite work out for me because it wasn't structured as much as I wanted it to be and I knew if I used it at work, if it wasn't super full, it would just kind of fall over and flop over and let everything come out, which I didn't think was appropriate for work. And I definitely did want something that stood up on its own and was just more structured and a little more sleek 
than that bag actually was in person, but I still really love that one. So the next bag is the Prada Wallet on Chain or the Prada Walk in Safiano leather and I will link it down below so you can see it and I looked for this bag for months. I was so sure that I wanted this bag. I was really excited about it and I wanted it in the bright pink peonia color. That's the one that I just really wanted it. And I never actually saw this bag in person. Every time I went, to, when I kind of fell in love with it, it was after it was no longer in the store. And then in the um, outlet stores, they just never had it in stock. So it was only ever going to be a pre-loved purchase for, for me, as most things are. And I finally got it. I bought it off Tradesy, and I wound up buying it in an orange color because it was such a good price. I couldn't pass it up. And I was like, let me see if I like it. I like orange, so it would be okay. And so I got the bag, and it just was not what I wanted. It was not. It was very wide and very skinny. It didn't have much depth to it depth to it at all and I like a wallet on chain to be more than just a wallet I like to be able to put at least my phone maybe a lipstick my keys all of that inside so it's just got like my bare essentials but it was so wide it was way wider than I needed and it was way wider than my other bags and I just didn't like the proportions of it but then it also didn't hold everything that I wanted it to so it didn't work out for me and then the other thing about that that didn't work out is that the clasps for it, instead of just having like one uh, like magnet or clasp in like the front, it had two on the sides. And so you had to pull it like from the middle or you had to use both hands to open it. And when you pulled it from the middle, it kind of like warped the bag. And if you had to use both hands, it just wasn't a convenient crossbody. So I didn't love that either, and I didn't really love the way that that even looked. You could kind of see the magnets through it. So it just didn't work out for me, but luckily Tradesy lets you return anything as long as it's not like a final sale item. So I just said I didn't really love it, and I returned it back to them, and they gave me the credit for the bag. So it wasn't an issue at all, and it was actually really great to see it because I'd been looking for so many months. I mean, I'm a little bummed because now I don't know what, what like little pink bag I want, but at least I know that that one doesn't work out so I didn't have to keep searching for it and just kind of getting my hopes up about getting that back because it just did not work out for me at all. So now let me quickly do the second part of this video that LB added in as kind of a second little tag part and that is bags I didn't really love until I saw them in person. So the first bag that I ever loved, the first bag that made me fall in love with luxury, I saw it in person and I was like oh my gosh I absolutely love it, I really want that bag, is this one. My Prada uh, Lux tote in the Safiana leather in and I, I liked it in a couple different colors So this is the talco the talco is basically like talcum powder and And so I really liked it in this color, which is just like an off-white kind of color I liked it in a bright white. I liked it in a neutral and I think I also saw it in like a gray and a camel and I absolutely love this bag. It made me fall in love with luxury and I was so excited to add it to my collection. I'll show you the review video down below if you would like to see that. Or the, It's not necessarily a review, it was more like an initial reveal and reactions and whatever. But this one I absolutely fell in love with. It made me lo love luxury and I was so excited about it. And then the second one is the Ferragamo Becky bag. So I went in thinking, I wasn't necessarily going to buy it because I generally buy them pre-loved, but I was... I wanted to see the Amy in person that I talked about before and I was like I am, I want that bag but I want to make sure and then that didn't work out for me but while I was there the sales associate showed me this one and I completely flipped and I was like this is the one I want and I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna love it and I did and I got a great price on it so I'll link that video down below as well and I just absolutely adore this bag and so this one was um, definitely one of those didn't know that I was gonna love it until I saw it in person so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I am going to tag a few lovely ladies. So I am tagging Grace from Grace and Her Handbag, Alea from Treats of Luxury, Angelique from Angelique Eva, Tanya from Luxtopia, Steffi from Steffi's Style, and Amy from Amy PPS. I would love to see your answers to this tag, and I think it's a really great tag just to give a lot of information to the community so I am hoping to see your answers to it and to let this tag keep going because I think it is a really great one thanks again to Shay for creating it and if you did like the video please give it a like and subscribe to my channel to see future videos thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day